Welcome to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, I will explain how to migrate the Certificate Authority Server from Windows 2008 R2 to Windows 2019. It is applicable for Windows 2016 as well. You can migrate from 2008 R2 to 2012, 2016 or 2019, any, any of the higher versions. So I have a root CA and then subordinate CA, queuing CA installed in 2008 R2. So this is my subordinate CA. I named it as a queuing CA. I haven't. So it has certificates issued for few Windows 10 machines and users. So I have some templates, default templates. Okay, these are the two servers, the CA1 and CA2 are 2008 servers and the 2019 ones are new servers. So let's, these are the certificates issued to my Windows 10 machines, the user certificate for administrator user. So you see the certificate chain and similarly there is a machine certificate or computer certificate issued to the Windows 10 machine. Okay, so let's move to the uh, issuing set server and back up the CA. Okay, just click backup wizard and select private key certificate and certificate database. And I have already created a CA backup folder in my desktop. I'm gonna choose that one. So it will backup all the private key and database files to uh, that folder type any name to open this private key in the future. So just finish, It'll take a couple of seconds. Now this we have backup ready. Yeah. Yes. Now we have completed the backup. So let's remove this certificate authority role from this server and remove it from the domain and shut down the server. So we can't have the same different name for this one. So this procedure will cover how to migrate to a new version with the same server name. So some server setup might have a CA policy file or dot .inf file in the system32 window system32 folder but I don't have that file. If you have that one, copy that as well. So I don't have that file because I don't have any certificate authority policies. Okay, let's move to the next one. Do a registry backup of the certificate server configuration, service configuration. That's it. So it is under the local machine, HK local machine system current control set, services, set SRV. Yep, set SVC. Just export this. I'm gonna name it as CA registry backup. Yep. This will have all the CA details, server name, CA name, or the C name. Yep. Okay, let's move to the server manager and remove the server role. So click on the robot wizard and remove the Active Directory Certificate Services uncheck this and click next and remove it yeah it's removed you can restart the server but i'm not going to restart it i'm going to remove it from the domain and shut down it before that i'm just copy the ca backup and registry keys to a network location or a different server so yeah
completed. So remove the server from domain. I'm not going to explain that here. So skip it and shut down it. Shut down the server. Yeah, this is my Windows 2019 core edition. Yeah, you can use a graphic full desktop edition or a graphics one, but I have a certificate server. I'm going to use the score edition. So yeah, I'm going to rename the server into the existing the 2008 server old server name CA2. Yeah, it's renamed to so restarted. Yep, yeah, now I have the server with the old server name. Okay, let's go back to the server manager and connect remotely and do the configurations. So I have a remote management enabled and configured. If you want to see how to do that one, I will cover it in a different post. Yeah, this is a new 2019 server, add a certificate authority role. Click next, select a server name. Just select Active Directory Certificate Services. Click next, next. Yeah, this is just a certificate authority. Yep, install. If you have any other features installed on your server, like a web enrollment, other stuff, select the features accordingly. Any, any. Uh, Anything uh, installed, any, any services that was installed on the old server, you need to select exactly the same as the old one. So, yeah, it's finished, almost finished installing. Yep, the certificate services installed successfully. Let's click configure. You need to provide a domain admin set or uh, user with a uh, set domain admin role to any, uh, configure the ADCS service. Oops, sorry, you need to have some, some user ID with an interface admin account. Yeah, I have an administrator account. It's user of password, this username will be used, to con uh, used for configuring the certificate authority. Select certificate authority and click next. Yeah, it is an enterprise CA. Next, I'm gonna use subordinate because this may issue certificate server or a CA, a subordinate CA, use existing private key and import the backup file which we copied earlier from the 2008 server. Select the private key certificate and enter the password for this backup. Yeah. Just select that one, that is a right file. Select that certificate and next, click next. Yeah, I'm gonna use the default location if you want to. If you can copy the database and log files to a Windows location and point them to this during a configuration. But I'm going to use an existing default ones. It's successfully installed. Just connect to the certificate authority manager from server manager. Yep, this thing looks clean. But yeah, since I didn't import it the database and the log files, I don't. It won't show me the certificates issued or revoked ones. If you are in a production environment, use the old files come from the backup location. Okay, I'm just going to stop the services and import the registry file and then start the service. Let's connect to the server since I have a core edition, I'm going to connect remotely to the server. Yeah. Select remote registry, yeah, I have connected, let's stop the service, stop the CA services. Yeah, it 
desktop, just import the file, registry backup, file, import, and select the backup file, registry file. Yep. Okay. Let's click OK. Now start the service. Start service. Yep, all looks green. No errors, everything looks fine. Okay. Give it a second, it's still loading in the background. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I haven't imported the certificate, old certificate database. That's why I don't see any existing issued certification or the details. Yeah, but rest all looks fine. Okay. I'm going to renew this existing certificate, renew the certificate, the same key, I'm going to try with the same key, new key, if it doesn't matter, so I will try everything, new key exists, yeah, it's succeeded, it's, yeah, we got a certificate issued from a human set, uh, subordinate CA, that's a computer machine certificate or a computer certificate. Uh, looks good. Let's see. Back. Yeah, it is created from the new server. Okay. So let's move back to the. So let's move back to the. Okay, just delete this certificate and try. Let's try to create a new certificate. Request for a new certificate. Next, yep, okay, use. Select the computer certificate. Yes, enroll. Let's see the certificate created. Yep, it's created from issuing CA. Good, it's certificate chain. It's a root CA and subordinate CA. That looks good. Okay, let's try a user certificate. Sorry, I'm on the computer certificate again. Let's expand the user certificate and renew this one. Just new certificate with the new same key next yeah it's going to use a template finish okay i'm going to delete this one because it is created from a root ca yes and request new certificate next next yeah. select user yeah and roll okay again it is created from root okay this, I'm going to delete it again and point it to a issuing CA. Let's create a certificate. Just next, in the template, select the template and enrollment policy and the properties. Remove this root certificate authority from check to unchecked so that it will point only to issuing certificate authority. Enroll. Yep, that's finished. Got a certificate issued to the user. Certificate from subordinate server. We have certificate chain looking good. Yep. We have AEA, CRL, and CDP information. So all looking good. Okay. We have successfully migrated from 2008 certificate authority to 2008 R2 certificate authority to 2019. 
Thank you for watching.